This uh, video was put together because uh, I installed my Generac 6053 generator and ran into some difficulties that, uh, so that other people might run into with trying to hook up uh, this particular model um, to the electric service that according to all the spec sheets should be possible but seems to be a little hard to do with how they have some things configured on the generator. So my generator is installed about 100 feet from my electric panel and I according to the spec sheet looked at everything on there and I decided to run number four wire. It was the smallest size wire that the transfer case would support, transfer switch would support and it seemed to be the largest size that the generator itself would support. So that should give me the least amount of voltage drop from here to the electric panel where the load would be. Um, I wanted to minimize voltage drop because of some equipment that I have that I didn't want it being starved for voltage. So I've run all the cabling underground, I have everything hooked up, we were kind of ready to do some testing and we started hooking up the supply cables. Well, we ran into a little problem. Everything hooked up inside at the transfer switch just fine. But when we came out here to the generator, kind of ran into an issue. And this is where I kind of went round and round with Generac and didn't get the satisfaction or the, the satisfactory answer that I really think they should have. Although looking at the part they sent me, they did do some redesign, but I really think there should be more. So this is basically just documenting what I did. Um, and this might be something that they want to look at. Maybe they need to redesign part of it more or this may be a better option for other people who want to run the larger cable and don't want to deal with the problem. So when I was hooking up the ground and the neutral, which are the two that I have the problem with, um, they won't fit into the ground bar. Um, as you can see right here, this is the factory ground bar and uh, here's a piece of number four solid and if you put it right next to it, that will work number four solid will work in there. Um, but nobody's really going to run number four, it's not a very common thing to run number four solid through conduit. So here's a piece of number four stranded. Well the stranded wire has a, has a larger size and as such won't fit into the ground bar for the neutral or the ground. That presented me a problem. So I called Generac and Generac told me to use one of these like lugs here to adapt you know it to a bolt stud because on this piece as you'll see right here they have a bolt stud here for the neutral and the one on the opposite side for the ground but as you can see these bolts are just in plastic and when I tightened that down it split as you can see right there so I called them and their reply was, well, it should fit in the ground bar, but if you can't put it in the ground bar, then lug it down to that. So we kind of went round and round, and, and I was like, well, I did what you told me. This, this didn't really work, so I at least think they should have sold, sent me a replacement part for the part that I broke trying to do it their way. So here's the part that they sent to replace it. Now, if you notice... They have redone re how the studs are done. Notice they have that nice um, shoulder now on the bottom of the studs. But I'm really not satisfied because I think that, that having that mounted in plastic is really just asking for, you know, a problem again. Because that could break and then the stud come loose and, and it just, just isn't really designed for that the way that probably this should be fixed is that they should use ground bars that will accept the larger wire. So I got on the internet and I looked around for places selling ground bars and I found one that has multiple sized holes in it as you can see here. This was all one bar it's um, you know a little more than twice that long and I found that the holes line up so that I can have four small ones and two large ones and the bolt holes will still bolt down correctly. So this will allow me to connect all the wires just like they had them into these like these holes but it will also give me the nice large hole here 
in order to put my number four into so that I will get a good neutral and a good ground to my generator to my house and not have to do any type of uh, adapters that is if you if you can look down in this hole here when that piece is down in there it is very tight very tight um, so that's what puts a lot of stress on this part and on that stud and that's what cracks it so hopefully I'm gonna put this all back together here and we'll see how it all lines up and I will uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like in the end result and that's what I think, you know, maybe they should look at doing. Or if not, then here's an option for you guys out there that want a nice, neat, tidy installation that has everything bolted down the way it should. Um, because I know my electrical inspector is not going to allow me to, to do anything that's kind of flim flam. So this should make it so you don't either. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, so now we're back. Uh, we've got our, our new little ground bars installed. And just to show you, um, this is what um, the two ground bars were cut from. You cut out uh, like the left side and the right side and uh, drill out the, the holes all the way through. And basically, this is uh, one I found on the internet from NSI Industries. Um, it's a CB-23 combination ground bar. Um, it's designed to go in a much larger panel, but the holes in it work perfectly, as I said before. So, uh, really a good find. I, I was very happy when I found this to uh, fix this problem um, that, that I have with my hookup. Um, I got it from a, a website, uh, westwayelectric.com, I think it is. Um, but you can Google them. Uh, you can just look for a CB23 by uh, NSI Industries. Um, I'll show you what they look like fully installed in the generator. As you can see right there, um, the neutral bar's got its own nice big lug and the ground bar the ground wire's got its own nice big lug and, and everything else is uh, the holes are really the right size and everything. So and you can see those studs that are way down in there pretty far. Um, you know kind of far to get down in to try and lug that too. So um, I kind of feel that this is a much better solution. So we uh, we had our generator running a little while ago and it load tested well and now just finish up putting everything back together and we should be uh, ready for the next uh, power outage. So this is uh, how I solved the problem for me for my Generac 6053.